This is an Azeri missile that landed on this hospital just today. This wing of the hospital was just about ready to open, and it's not near any military targets, so it's not like it was an accident. It is very clear the military of Azerbaijan is targeting civilian infrastructure. Both sides accuse the other of atrocities in this conflict, but only Azerbaijan is trying to take land it doesn't control. The Armenians, on the other hand, see this as an existential threat. They want occupy our territory and clean this territory from Armenians. More than 99% of the people that live in this region are ethnic Armenians, and they make up one of the oldest Christian communities in the world. We are here. That's our historical land. We want to live here, and we want to have our rights. We want to know our history. We want to have uh, open churches. We want to pray. I'm in the capital of the Nagorno-Karabakh region of Armenia, called Artsakh, or this is the city of Stepanakert. Uh, behind me, you can see the effects of the Azeri bombardment that has been hitting this city since September 27th. Now, of the 150,000 people who live in this area, most of them have already had to flee, but there are still tens of thousands of people that are staying here, sleeping in their cellars, in their basements, and listening to the daily barrage of random artillery that's falling on this city. On September 27, when we woke up, we heard the loud sounds of explosions. We saw the bursts, uh, the smoke. We understood what's going on. And my dad told us to uh, take all of our, our things and to go to his uh, shops underground cellar. This is Rosa. She's 83. And she was sleeping in that room right behind me when this bomb flattened her house. This was a very large bomb. And this is not near any military objective or anything. It's just random bombing of civilian areas by Azerbaijan supported by Turkey. Rosa says the fact that she survived is nothing short of a miracle. Meanwhile, President Erdogan of Turkey has sent military assets to help Azerbaijan as this conflict has become a power struggle between regional superpowers. Armenia has limited support from Russia, but the Armenian military is still outnumbered five to one. It's just after noon, and the air raid siren is going off in the distance. There have been just random artillery shells falling sort of all around this hotel. Uh, one just landed about a quarter mile that direction, and another one just a minute ago landed right over this way. But this is what the people of Stefanikert are having to deal with literally every day without warning. So you could be walking down the street, and if one of those shells lands anywhere near you, it's game over. And as the violence continues to intensify, Armenians are vowing to fight to the bitter end and are putting their faith in God. From the Republic of Artsakh, I'm Chuck Holton for CBN.